Hi everybody, this is Algebra 1, Lesson 58, and in this lesson, we're going to be covering percent word problems. So the, the percent problems that we've been doing so far, it kind of set it up for you. It would say um, 20 is 40% of what number. Um, in these, it's going to be a word problem, and you have to set it up yourself. Also, I'm going to show you a different way to work word problems a little different from what's in the book. All right, so... Uh, the first example, Kathy and John and Susie have 20 chickens left. If they began with 80 chickens, what percent of their original flock remains? So how many do they have left? All right, so we're going to draw a diagram for that. So here's their flock. You know I like square diagrams instead of the round ones they do in the book. They started with 80 chickens. So this whole thing is 100%, and that's 80 chickens. And they've got 20 left. There must have been a lot of hawks. Possums. I don't know. All right. And they want to know this number. So these are the ones that are left. These are the ones that are gone. Okay. If they began with 80 chickens. So if they had 80 chickens minus 20, this is going to be 60 chickens. That's not 20%, that's 20. Let's see. That's 20 chickens. So they want to know, basically we're trying to find um, 20 is <clears throat> what percent of 80, right? So 20 equals W over 100 times 80. So that would mean that we would do 20 equals 80 W over 100. Divide this by 100. No, times it by times 100. Times 100. And we're going to get 2,000 equals 80 W. Now we divide by 80. Go ahead and knock off those zeros. Two times eight is 16. Eight times five is 40, it'd be 25%. And we can ch double check that to make sure. So, we should have 60 over here in that side. That should be 75%, right? So if we did 25%, that's a fourth. So if we had 20 and 20 and 20 and 20, would that make 80, 20, 40, 60, 80? Yes. So each of these would be 25% and that would all make 80. All right, now I told you I was gonna show you the other way to do these. And that, it's, it's kind of easier to just set it up as a ratio. So, first we got to figure out what is what. So, 100% equals 80. And we want to know what 20 is equals what percent. So, we just set that up as a ratio. So, we say 100, 80 equals 20. And up here, we're going to put X, right? we got to make sure that you have your number, 80 is your number, and 20 is your number, right? And up here, you have your percent and percent. You could write it the other way. So I could put my percent on the bottom. So I could say my number on top, which would be 80, and my percent on the bottom, which is 100. So if I do it like that, my number is 20. I'm going to go on top. And my percent, my x, is on the bottom. All right, to solve this, you just cross multiply. 100 times 20 would be 2,000. And then 80x. And this is exactly what we did earlier. So we're doing the same math. It's 2,000 divided by 80. 
which would be Try another example. Mimi and Jim, they give good names, don't they? Mimi and Jim have 75 thingamabobs. They want to give Hal 20% of them. How many thingamabobs did they give Hal? Okay, so we're going to draw our diagram. 100% is 75, and they want to give Hal 20%, right? So we got to figure out what number. My box was terrible. Let's see if I can fix it. There we go. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what number this is. So 20% of 75 is what number? Of 75 is what number? All right, if you wanted to do that the ratio way, we're going to say 100% is 75, and that equals 20%. See how I've got my percents both on top is, we don't know. And then you just cross multiply, so 75 times 20, 2 times 7 is 14, 1, wait, 2 times 5 is 10, okay, 0, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, uh, 2 times 7 is 14, 15, yes, 1,500 equals 100x, and then we just divide by 100, and the answer should be, knock off the zeros, equals 15. Okay, so that's how you would do it the ratio way. Um, if we wanted to do it this way, we could say 20, our percent always goes over 100, times 75 equals W. So 20% of 75 is what number? So we just need to do 75. So 2 times 75 would be 150 over 100 equals what number? And then that would just be, let's see, oh, whoops, there we go. And then that, and then you'd have double you know, equals 15. It's the exact same math, it's just a different way of thinking about it. All right, Bo and Christy hid raisins, hide raisins. This is 60% more than they hid last month. How many raisins did they hide last month? Okay, so we've got 100%. This is last month. Okay, and then this month they did what they did last month plus 60% more. So this is 100%. Oh, they hid 600 raisins. I wrote my problem wrong. Okay. They had 600 raisins. That 600 is supposed to go right there. All right. Um, so this would be 160%. And this total number right here is 600. So 100% plus 60 more percent is 600. So if we wanted to write that as a ratio, we're going to put 160, that's our percent, is 600, 100% is X. All right, then we cross multiply, and we say 160 X equals, we should have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 4, we divide by 160, knock off those zeros, and then we would have 6 divided by 16. Oh, 16 into 60. All 
would be, let's see, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3, 4. So that would be 50, 10, 12. Bring down a 0. 20 would be 7. 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, that would be 8. 80. 6 times 5 is 30. 80. 375. Okay, so that is what they hit last month was 375 plus 60% more would give them 600. The other way to write that would be 160%. Let's see. No, 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 no. It would be what number is 160, no, 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 that's not it. I, I got it now, 600. See, that's why the ratio is easier, easier is 160% of 160 of what number, okay? So that would mean um, 600 equals 160 over 100 W, okay? And then we could knock off those zeros right there and we could say 600 equals 16 W over 10. Now we do times 10 on both sides and we would get 6,000 equals 16 W. Now we divide by 16. W equals, and it would be the same multiplication that we just did right there, which would be our division that we did right there, which would be 375. All right, so two different ways to work the same kind of a problem. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try the practice problems. Draw the diagram at first just so you can see what you're trying to look for. Okay, hopefully you guys pause the video to work the practice problems, and now I'm going to work them for you. Alright, so A, Jane and Faye have 32 bagatelles left. If they began with 160, what percent of the original number remains? Alright, so we're going to draw a diagram. 100% that they began with was 160. They've got 32 left. So we need to know what percent that is, okay? So we could say 160 is 100%. So 32 is what percent? See, I've got my percent right here, and that's my percent right there. All right, then we cross multiply, so we get 160x equals 3200 divide by 160. Uh, we can knock off these zeros right here and we could say 16 into 320. Um, that is times 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2, 3, 32. Yep, 20. The other way to do it would be to say 32 is what percent of 160? is what percent of 160, that's what we're looking for, so 32 equals W over 100, of means times 160, and if we multiply that we would get 32 equals 160 W over 100, we can knock off these zeros, and we could say times 10 on both sides, 320 equals 16W. Then we divide by 16, divided by 16, and we get W equals, that's the same math we did over here, so 0. 
16 and to 320, and we get 20. So 20 is the answer to A. All right, uh, next one. Is B. Moving over to B. All right, Caesar's Legion had an inventory of 2,400 pairs of thongs. Thongs are sandals, guys. If they normally wear out 30% uh, of their supply by the end of the fiscal year, how many pairs of thongs remain at the end of the fiscal year? Okay, so got our diagram. They have 100% equals 2,400. All right, 30% wear out. Okay, so those are the ones that are worn out. They want to know how many remain. Remain is going to be over here. So that would be, whoops, let me write that below where my percents go. That would be 70%. That's what they have left at the end of the year. So they got 30% is taken out of this 2,400. So we don't need to find 30%. We need to find 70%. All right. So we're going to say 100% is 2,400. 70% is we don't know. Now we just cross multiply. Uh, 2,400 times 70. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 2 is 14. 15 16. One hundred x because I cross multiplied there. Now I divide by a hundred. Knock off two zeros. All right. Let's see if that is the correct answer for B. Uh, it should be 1,680. Yep. So 70% equals 1,680. Now, if we were to do that the other way, we would say what number is 70% of 2,480? So what number is 70 over 100? Because that's our percent of 2,480. And then we would just multiply here. I could actually divide right there because that's over 1. And we're just doing that. And then we could do that. And then we would say 248 times 7. 7 times 8 is 48. Times 4 is 28. 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 2. 14, 15, 16, 17. No. Do that. That's not right. Hang on. Erase. Oh, it was it wasn't two thousand. It was two thousand four hundred. There we go. Okay. Hundred and forty times seven. Seven. Four is twenty-eight. Seven times two is fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. There it is. All right. So two ways to do the same kind of problem. Okay, one more. Christopher and Chad collected 40 items. When they added Kathy's items to their total, uh, when they added Kathy's items, their total increased by 150%. What was their new total after Kathy's items were added? Okay, so they have 40 items. And that's 100%. Let me write the 40 in here and then put the 100 up top. Okay, they added Kathy's items and their total increased by 150%. So they got another 150%. So they're going to end up with 
250%. Okay, so that'd be 40, 50% is 20. Okay, so this is 150%. They're going to end up with 250%. This one's kind of easy. You could probably just figure this one out by adding it up. Um, so this would be 200 and 50%, so here would be 100%, and here would be another 100%, and here's 50%, and if we know 100% is 40, we would have 40, and another 40, and 20, so that would be 100. Uh, to write this out, this would be um, what number is... 250 over 100, because that's our percent of, means times, 40. And we put that over 1, and then we just multiply. We can knock off that 0, and we knock off that 0, and we would have 25 times 4 is 100. If you did this as a ratio, you would say 100% is 40 equals 250% is x. You would get, if you cross multiplied, you'd say 40 times 250, which would be 100, and then two more zeros, equals 100x, and then divide by 100. x equals 100. So, a couple of different ways to do it. Sometimes you can just do it this way, where you just look at it and say, okay, 50% is easy to think of because it's just half. All right, that is it for lesson 58. Uh, thank you for watching.